Well, folks, it's been a while, but we're back, and I haven't been canceled. So, welcome to this week's episode of You Don't Know Jack. Here we have guest star, Johnny Frazier. <laughs> so, Johnny, uh, just tell us where you're from. Um, I'm from Princeton, North Carolina. Oh, Princeton. Yes. So, are you smart? Hmm. I think I'm smarter than others. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You meant... You meant the city. You didn't mean Princeton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I remember when you first came in, uh, Coach Kitchens told me, hey, this guy's from Princeton. I was like, Princeton? I was like, oh, he must be really smart. <laughs> and he was like, oh, no, North Carolina. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, second five-star on the show. Uh, how does it feel to be um, number two? How many stars do you have coming out of high school? Two. <laughs> oh, well, I guess you just have to be there to know the feeling. Uh, no, I guess that's very understandable. I understand. Uh, thank you for uh, lowering my morale. <laughs> uh, so, Johnny, uh, what's with the hair? You know, you, did you want to emulate RG3 or oh, no, is this no, something no. that you've always wanted to do? Or you just um, want to look unpresentable? Yeah. Oh. That's, that's, that's what I'm going for, unpresentable. So people have, you know, such a bad image until they realize what's really happening on the inside. Okay, whatever that means. You need a haircut. So, Maybe Johnny, we should grow yours out. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fine with the way it looks now. Yeah. But uh, how was, um, I guess, how was it, you know, just coming in and trying to get acclimated to, you know, college football and everything? Because I know you uh, came from, like, a oh, 1A school, so, you know, it's, it's really different coming from, like, a really small school, and then, boom, you're on campus with, like, 30,000 people. How was that, you know, how was that transition? That was probably the hardest part because, mm -hmm. you know, everything's faster. You don't really have people that's, that's going to sit there and baby you. Mm -hmm. They, like, they put you in and expect, like, you to learn it quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, you should. You're in college now. But um, I think that was, about, like, the hardest thing for me because, uh, you know, we were babies at Princeton, mm -hmm. you know, coming, like, from a smaller school and yeah. playing, like, people, like, twice as fast, if not, you know, faster. Mm -hmm. So when did, when did that realization that, you know, you have to start doing a lot of stuff on your own, when did that occur? Exactly. Um, I want to say like like two or three games in during the season, you know, scout team, and I realized like uh, they're not gonna take it easy on me, mm -hmm. so I just gotta step it up. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. You did, you did step it up, and I did see the transition throughout. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you, thank you. I really am. Thank you, <laughs> Dad. Jack. No, thank you, Dad. Jack. No, thank you, Dad. Yeah, Jack. <laughs> so, um. You know, going into the spring football, how do you feel? Like, what is your, what is your mindset right now? Uh, my mindset is, is I'm going to play. I'm going to earn a spot. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to you know, help the team the best way I can. What, is, what are your goals, per se, for this, uh, for this upcoming season? Um, to be, like, a factor in, you know, helping us get wins and helping us get better, mm -hmm. like, on and off the field. Mm -hmm. So, Johnny, um... You're pretty fat for running back, oh. but you also have a lot of speed, which is uh, kind of peculiar to me. Is it like country speed, like going in the backyard chasing the rabbits, or is it like something you actually developed and worked on? Um, I don't know. For me, it's just something that came natural. Uh, but, but before before you start bragging about yourself, understand that you're not faster than me. You're just pretty fast. Mm. Well, uh, from what I remember, <laughs> couldn't catch me on all those times I scored on the scout team. But, as I was saying, you for have, me... You must have a really bad memory. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Scout team tape tells it all. Mm -hmm. But, um, as I said, back to me. It just came pretty natural. You know, I was, <clears throat> I was always a runner, you know, or it came from track or just outside playing tag. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little about your family background. How's your um, family? Uh, I, I know when you came on your visit, you're a big family man. I am. I am. I love my mom. It's just me, my mom, uh, my brother, my grandma, and uh, his wife, mm -hmm. my brother's wife. It's really like a... Your grandma's family. wife? <laughs> my brother's wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, when you came on your visit, you had you were weird. I'm not going to lie. You were weird. weird. And one thing that you really did that was weird was you had a lot... You had like 10 keychains, like five on the left five on the left pocket and five on the right pocket. Why did you do that? And do you still do that? Because um, I, I, know, I noticed actually. that you're... Your uh, pockets are kind of light right now. I don't actually. It was um, during my recruitment. You know, every time I go visit, I get a keychain. Mm -hmm. So that's my way of show, like 
showing that I've been this and that place without to ever ask, have, having people to like ask me, oh, where have you been this and that and third? And I was just yeah. like, hey, well, this is where I've been. Because it, it got annoying. Yeah. Um, I see you were taking notes or something. Uh, mind if I see what was on your pad? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, well, it's a portrait of you. You know, I'm kind of an artist. Does it, does it look? And what do you go to school for? Oh, uh, I'm a finance major with a minor in accounting. You should stick to that. Oh, okay. I thought it was a pretty good drawing, to be honest. Hmm. Well, See, I usually I don't take notes during these interviews, but, uh, you know, you really, you really provoke my mind and just encourage me to write something down. But I didn't have any words to say, so I just drew a picture of you. I'm glad I can. I see I touched your heart. Yeah. Yes, it, it really meant a lot. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, I'm Jack Tocho, and we have guest star Johnny Frazier, and you don't know Jack. Mm -hmm.